What's up, everybody? I'm Brian Altano. I'm here with Jared Petty. Greetings. We are playing Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen, which Square Enix just put out on iOS devices, right? Yeah, uh, as uh, originally as Dargon Quest, I believe. Dargon, yeah. Dargon so uh, there was a lot. There was a lot of jokes being thrown around about this, but uh, uh, this was first put on the App Store as Dargon Quest, not a real game. If you're looking for Dragon Quest, search for Dargon Quest, and if you're looking for Dargon Quest, that's not a real game either. So just play Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest was originally a console game, right? Yeah, Dragon Quest was uh, Dragon Quest 4 was originally an NES game. Uh, for the Famicom, it came out in the United States as Dragon Warrior 4. Yep. Uh, it's actually a highly sought after cart today because they didn't release all that many of them in the States. Uh, since that time, it's been remade many times, uh, most recently on the DS, and uh, now here we have it on the iPad at last. And look, it has fancy letters. Uh, so I'm very excited about the fancy <laughs> letters. I think it's... Boing? Boing? How, how would you say that? What, the... Boon. Okay. Oh let's... man, that is a that that's a lot. Is that like an infinity symbol? I I'm not. Well, that's a, like a tilde over there. Is that a beta? I think they're. I'm not sure. No well, idea. Well, that's gonna be our name. We are boon. Oh, we get to pick boon? A Male or female? Female. Female. Okay, we're going for female. Boon, uh, the female. We are on the female, and uh, yes, and here we are in the prologue. Now, yeah, Dragon Quest Four is uh, is a well regarded Dragon Quest, one yeah. of the better games. Uh, it. It has a very neat storytelling element where every chapter tells uh, one party member's story for the first four chapters and then finally brings everybody together for the end. Yeah. So it sort of starts over several times. Now, right away here, it's a little different than what we're used to because uh, Dragon Quest IV typically began in the middle of a, uh, a town, as I remember, and now we're sitting down in a basement. So this is a, uh, a little different than what I'm used to seeing right off. So now, obviously, this is not... These are not NES graphics, right? So this no. started as an NES game, and it moved to... Uh, it's been remade for the PlayStation, and then it's uh, once again been remade for the DS. So now so. this is a port of which version? Now, hold on. One thing I want to point out real quick. This on-screen uh, analog, it's yep. actually pretty cool because it's centered, which you don't really see a lot with games like this. Yep. You see, you're playing the iPad vertically right now, mm -hmm. and there's uh, sort of this analog wheel... And then you've got all your uh, layover HUD for uh, menus and talking and cycling through items and such. Yep. So, um, you know, I'm always a little worried when I see games like this come to mm -hmm. uh, platforms like that. But it seems like there's a sort of clever solution going on for that kind of stuff. So. I agree. And it, it controls really nicely here. Actually, it's I, I uh, this is a blind taste test here. Yeah. I mean, we just sat down and said, okay, I'm going to fool with this and see what happens. And so far, I'm pretty happy. Oh, well, I can move it around. Ooh, shiny. Look oh, you can change the placement. Yeah, I can move oh, that's placement. pretty sweet. I don't have any farty... Oh, this is good. Okay, so this is very important right there. I just pressed that little button with the guy talking in mm -hmm. the corner. So Dragon Quest IV, one of its neatest features was what was called the party talk uh, or party chat element. And that meant that at any point in the story when you have somebody in your party, you could just hit this random button and you would talk to the character and they would just have something snarky or informative or funny to say. Oh, interesting. It's somebody in your party. Now, right now, there's nobody in our party, but... So you never really felt lonely. Yeah, but and, exactly. And sometimes it was useful. Sometimes it was just flavor and added a lot to the game. But the big deal was when this was ported to the DS in the States, that feature wasn't a part of it. Oh. Uh, so they've added it to this I right there. That I, I just feel like uh, I, I probably got my money's oh, worth man, on I love, that. I love this artwork, by the way. Yeah, actually, really I like this quite a bit, cool, too. Pretty cool spread art. Can I go over here, heroin? My guess is this this art is based more on the DS version than anything else. And sure, maybe yeah, on the yeah, PlayStation. yeah. It looks like it. Okay, so somebody's calling out to me here. Right. Say, you must help me, kind lady. Where are you? Okay, I'm trying to find you. Oh, here. it's oh. a it's a talking frog. Of course, Obviously, that would have been my last guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. Literally, thought, final guess. Hello, talking frog. Greetings. All right, let's go talk to you. Do not look so alarmed. I'm not really a frog. I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if that's any less alarm. Honestly, I think <laughs> that that's probably more alarming. Okay. But uh, be honest. You thought I was a frog, did you not? Are we gonna be yeah, yeah, that would be my yes. Yes. You are green. You are scaly. You have a tongue. You hopped out of a lake. Yep. Uh, either a frog or a really gangrenous merman. Yeah. I mean, one of the two. Um, or like a, a dying lizard. Mm. See, a very honest person, I see. Okay. Well, they can tell that. But I guess I am in truth the princess of a mighty kingdom. Oh, man. Really? Okay. But the Wicked Witch's horrible spell turned me into the forum you see before you now. I have nothing to say. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, stuff is happening. Frogs. I live a carefree life. It's just that. It's, okay. This frog has really got it's a got bad a lot, the dramatic. A lot to say. Oh, someone's coming. And he's running away. It's a very shy frog unless he's just talking to me. Oh, who's coming? Let's go fight something. So what's this do? 
Oh, look, menus. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, good. There's the wagon. Okay, that's another one of Dragon Quest IV's best features. So what's what's up with the wagon? Okay, the wagon's a way that it, it, when we get a big party in the game, eventually we're going to be able to organize our party so that we can always have the fighters we want uh, mm -hmm. at just the right moment. We can still carry other party members around. It's a sure. really handy little feature. Uh, Dragon Quest IV, V, and VI are all really well designed. They, they were kind of a semi-trilogy. They, they don't have the intersecting storylines, but they have uh, a lot of mechanics that travel between them. And the wagon, the party chat feature, a lot of an emphasis on charm, a very classic turn-based RPG battle system. Um, it really just solid gameplay design. Dragon Quest V is the apex of the series. It, yeah. it really is the best game. Dragon Quest IV is where you see all the good ideas that would reach fruition in V tried out. Interesting. Um, it's totally worth your time uh, in, in its original format. I cannot tell you yet whether this version is worth your time, but I can say... Uh, that so far I'm remarkably comfortable playing this. So yeah. what what is what are they charging for this game? Uh, this is 14.99. This is premium. Okay. Um, but once again, uh, and uh, I'm still getting my my sea legs under me. But if this turns out to be a solid port of Dragon Quest IV, then that's uh, a good deal. Yeah, I would much rather pay for a game all up front than have a bunch of microtransaction crap gri griping at me. Yeah, you know, I th there's this weird sort of notion that happens a lot with iPad gaming and mobile gaming in general, where people will they'll, they'll spend, you know, upwards four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars even on the, on a device, and then when games come and they see something like a fourteen ninety nine title, they kind of scoff at it. And I don't know if that's a sort of a healthy market to sort of to to live in. No, I, I I think that nothing uh, down in this wall, right? I think it, yeah, there's nothing down in this wall. I think it's uh, well, climate rope is yeah, these controls yeah. work really well. I'm that's cool. Shocked how well this works. Um, but I mean, I, I think people see a game cost a dollar and they think it's a safe bet. But if they yeah. see something cost three or four dollars, they say no. But fifteen dollars no. on 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 the iPad is like. Are you kidding me? But you're paying fifteen dollars for a game that, as a DS card, just a few years ago, you had to pay, you know, thirty-five, thirty-five dollars, uh, dollars for. Yeah. I, I think this is still. This guy sleeps really weird, by the way. He does. It, why is he wearing that hat? First, I don't off? know. That's, that's a little strange. No one ever comes to this godforsaken village. A uh, goddess forsaken village. Pardon me. I, oh, it's uh -huh. goddess forsaken. Okay, so you're gonna, that's right. There's the goddess in these these particular Dragon Quest series. Here we so have the goddess. the uh, old man from uh, Link to the Past. Absolutely, he's going to teach me the sizzle spell. Dust draws inexorably closer. We'll commit to lesson tomorrow. Now, folks, my greatest familiarity with this game is with the NES original. Uh, so sure. this prologue section doesn't play out this way at all in that. So I'm, I'm really sure. kind of fascinated by, uh, by what I'm fooling with here. Because uh, on NES it was probably like, here is spell. Yeah, here is spell. Also, you start out as a soldier in the middle of a town and, yeah. or, or in a castle, and you're all going off to rescue a village. So this is kind of going a different way. Now she's talking about Eliza. Okay. I'm supposed to must be she, she's out there somewhere. Go and find her, will you? So I wanted to leave the village. It wouldn't let me because I was too weak. And I'm afraid we're if we... Uh, we're pretty much going to end up wandering around trying to figure out how to get out of this town. What until is this, we... guy, this guy's job is he just steps on his lettuce all day. Yeah, he that's just, his job, absolutely. He's just kind of like massaging it with his feet, mounting it in place. Yeah, uh, so he's let's like, I'm just walking lettuce. on my garden. Yeah, I'm walking I can't on, understand why this here. doesn't grow well. Yeah. I don't know a lot about farming. I did flower gardening some. Did you ever do that? Maybe no. I want to go talk to that frog. He ran back down these stairs. Oh, yeah, that's right. We totally forgot about that guy. Oh! <gasps> oh, man. Look, it is a princess. So we just tap on her if we want to talk to her. And that's that cool. Well. Have you finished? It's, oh, that's Eliza, my friend. It's actually it's cool to see like such a uh, like a meaty RPG on 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 the iPad because I mean there are some here and there. Uh, there's a couple Final Fantasies. Yeah. But um, this this it's kind of adds to the library. Now I, I know there are some sort of smaller uh, RPGs made by some like lesser known teams, but yeah. this is this is kind of a classic. So it's kind of cool to see this where it is now. Absolutely. Now, I'm, I'm going to want to play this more before I go handing out recommendations to anybody. This sure. is just a quick Let's Play First Impressions thing because, like, Final Fantasy Tactics is available on iPad and it's it's a, one of the one of the better video games I've played in my life is Final Fantasy Tactics. But the iPad version is notorious for being buggy, for crashes, oh, really? for unreliability. Interesting. And so, so I, you know, I want to play this a while before I, I, I cast any judgment on it. Okay, so now she's a rabbit. What's up with this girl? Yeah, well, she's frogs, rabbits. My mother's looking for me. Uh, it's supper time. Maybe uh, maybe she's going to go stuff on that guy's cabbages, too. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so this is cool to see this come together. I am... Um, uh, it's a wonderful series, Dragon Quest. Again, it's turn-based combat, about as simple as it gets, but the games are full of charm, depth. There, there's a lot to do. They're solid. Go into the dungeon, go a little ways, get out, get some rest, go back, get more powerful, get stronger, uncover the plot to destroy the land, save the world, mm -hmm. you know. 
And uh, it, this one does it better than most. I uh, really suggest uh, our uh, readers and listeners and viewers and all the rest of those folks who are uh, a part of this, go ahead and give, it, give this a look. Awesome. Yeah. So, yay for uh, Dragon Quest and for good games. It exists. We're playing it, and it's cool so far. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brian. This is Jared. This was Dragon Quest IV. For all things Dragon Quest IV and iOS and RPGs in general, hopefully more and more come to these devices because, you know, apparently, like it or not, this is kind of where the future's going with video games. Yep. Plus consoles too. Don't worry. Don't jump. Don't worry. We love we love consoles. Yeah. In the comments, don't hate us too bad. Yeah. Um, For all those things that we love and you love. The video games, the good stuff with the the games and the buttons and all that stuff. Yeah. Keep it locked right here to IGN.